So how does your child learn to read? It might be different than how you learned. The latest science backed research on literacy plus low reading proficiency among students statewide. Well, has Tennessee going back to the basics when it comes to reading instruction? 10 News reporter Olivia Daig takes a deep dive into the state's overhaul and why the change is so important. Good job. A few years ago, low test scores and performance statewide raised red flags for educators like Deborah Reed, a professor at UT. Only about a third of the students in Tennessee were meeting proficiency standards. Lori Nicholson has been a teacher for 27 years. She's taught multiple curriculums throughout her career. It's changed a lot over the years. I mean, you know, we started out with like using books in the classroom and we would go around and everybody would read that way. Reed says teaching reading is not one size fits all. In the past, there were practices adopted that were successful for some students. We took what looked really great for them and we applied it to everyone. And those practices were not successful for all students. So Tennessee made some changes. They passed the Literacy Success Act. It is a big change in Tennessee. It is bold. Tennessee did not mandate a curriculum. Instead, they set standards all schools need to follow. These standards are based in part on the science of reading, which is a body of research on how kids' brains learn to read. For most schools, this means an added focus on phonics or a sounds first approach. This is something Knox County Schools Director of Literacy, Aaron Phillips, says comes easily to most students. We have to think about foundational literacy skills because reading is not natural, but speaking is. Phonics based instruction may look like sounding out words. What's the word? Even fake ones to make sure kids know what the letters and blends sound like. School districts across East Tennessee have chosen different curriculums from a state approved list. For Anderson County, this means a three step approach to reading for kindergarten through second grade. We meet the needs of every learner. We do a phonics based approach. We do a small group reading approach and we do a whole group reading knowledge building approach. In Jefferson County, they use the same curriculum, but now they say district wide teachers are on the same page teachers were finding their own way. The experience looked different in different classrooms across the district. And so now we've got a more common experience. In Knox County, Phillip says they've been teaching with the science of reading for a decade. It's important that we're building up the competencies that can be mastered, which is learning to decode and then reading those words versus guessing. And it's not only about phonics. The more background knowledge they have about a topic, um, the more complex of a text they can engage with over time. Veteran teachers like Nicholson say phonics works. She can see it in her own classroom. They will sit here and they will sound out their words. They will look at the beginning sounds. They'll look, in, they'll look for small words in the word itself. That was Olivia Daig reporting. Now these changes don't just impact individual classrooms. Since Tennessee implemented new standards for reading, TCAP scores have increased 4% statewide. Education experts say this sets up kids for success, ensuring they're literate adults ready to join the workforce down the line.